Yikes, dude. Hey. What's up, man? Welcome to the Buff Boys. Matt Marin, Joe Gorman, our guest today from the Yes Offense podcast, Yes Offense Comedy Productions, Alex Thomas L. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Long time to no see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Alex? I'm well, dude. I got this cat on got my Bob's lap, as always. Yeah. You can check out our other podcast, Super Selly Shows. Out <laughs> yeah. <that> fucking, <laughs> this cat is never not on me. Is Super Selly Show its full own Super thing? Or was Joe's. It? Super huh? Selly Show. Yeah. Joe's. Super Selly Joe's. Oh, jo- Super Selly Joe's. Yes. yes. Gotcha. <laughs> was that I thought was that one just like uh, fill in for Yes Offense, or is that its whole own thing now? It's, it's our, become its own thing it's due, due to yeah. due to the popularity, the un ah. the unyielding popularity, mm, public yeah. appe- public uh, yeah. What well, the public demand is like through the roof. Yeah, they're like this is like just two guys hanging out on a couch. What's what's when Even better, yeah. this is three guys on a couch. <laughs> Crazy. <Yeah. laughs> and that's what we're bringing to you guys this yeah. week. Yeah, man. Yeah, in the midst Damn. of this Kendrick Lamar Drake war. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's but been wild. Damn, yeah. dude. Is that that's what everyone's been talking about these days. The, the late late yesterday was a big day though. No, Kendrick okay. Cat Williams did a live comedy special too. Oh, I didn't see oh, is that on Netflix? Yeah, uh yeah, I didn't see it, but I just saw like Kendrick and Drake feuding. Oh my Cat, god. It was just the, Joe, this February maybe, comes a little late this year. Yeah. How, how fucking, how fucking perfectly appropriate yeah. for Black History Month. Yes. That, yeah, we'd be doing Black History Month a little later this year. <laughs> Shit, when is it? Uh, close to damn. Well, yeah, yeah, Dad. So we got May, and then we're going right into Juneteenth. My God, right. and <laughs> we got Gay Pride Month right in there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, that is like that is kind of funny, isn't it? Because like you have you have Black History Month February it's like yes. whatever then all of a sudden it's Women's like Women's History Month yeah but Ooh. then like then it's like okay June is like for gay people but right. then black people are like no 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 we also want a day where we can celebrate the being emancipated nowhere yeah, yeah. well no it was uh, because everyone was like complaining that we don't have Columbus Day off anymore. And we're like, we need a fucking day off. Mm. You know, it's like, hey, we're all about, like, you know, not giving props to Columbus. Mm. But we got to get a fucking day off. But in the middle of Black History Month, gay people got Valentine's Day. <laughs> not really. But you don't get the day off work. Oh, that's you don't true. get the day off work just because you're in love. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, peop- single people should be the only ones who go to work on Valentine's yeah. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's just saying that because he's in love. <laughs> dude. Yeah, now that I have a girlfriend, I think yeah. every single person should have to go to work. Girlfriend, yeah, yeah, he's in love. He's in love, oh, dude. Well, I posted it earlier today, so Joe yeah. already... Uh, is she a, a regular re- person? Um, She's yeah, a regular. You, 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 you know, know her. her. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't tell. Don't. No. <laughs> yeah, dude. Colleen don't. Genevieve. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fucking crazy, dude? No. Matt was like, I'm, I'm into women that have capable of having children. Yeah. Because like Matt is very anti-trans. Right. Because he's like, he's like, what makes a woman the ability to have a baby? Can a trans woman have a baby? Then no. And I'm like, well, what about women that just like buy a lot, like women just that are barren? And he's like, they don't count. And I'm like, what about postmenopausal women? And he's like, they don't count. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? Yeah. No <laughs> way. Yeah. <laughs> I just booked her today. That's uh, awesome, yeah. dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> now we know. I would have never seen that coming <laughs> in a billion years. Why is that, <laughs> dude? That is hilarious. I'm sorry. Why is it funny? <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Dude, Emily, oh my god. And Emily, Matt, you yeah. wrote Emily talks this game of men, and <laughs> it's just crazy. That's you. That's insane. <laughs> Wait, what did she say about what did she say about the men? What just men that? in general. She's always like, we need a man who's this, that. It's Matt, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Matt's the it's Matt! <laughs> Like what's one of the bits, dude? I I don't even know. Like, it's man, just, I, if dude, a man don't have a skid mark and he damn underwear, I just can't, dude. Because Emily always posts um things that are like, I went on a date with this guy and he did this and it's this, mm-hmm. and it's like the most annoying, childish things. That's and Matt. somehow Matt <laughs> <laughs> powered through everything. <laughs> what, That's what, crazy, what dude. It? She's on the next um yes offense show. Nice, nice dude. Yeah, they oh, met yeah, dude. Yes offense. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. No, we met yeah. actually. We met known each other a couple years. I just thought, like, yeah, I thought you guys met like roasts and stuff. Yeah. Wait, how'd you meet? Tell everyone um, how you the met. Man, dude. I think it was probably one of the first one CT of the comedy, comedy fight. baby. Yep, we did a comedy fight club up in Connecticut, and I met her on that show. Oh, that's Uh-oh. crazy, dude. Yeah. And Long actually, distance. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we've been seeing each other for the last like couple they months. I've been cheat. getting booked on more Connecticut they can shows, cheat, dude. They so. can cheat. 
Yeah. yeah different. Anyway, hell yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right <laughs> if it's in different. I did. I told. Uh, I told her that we were recording the pod. I saw her yesterday. I told her we were recording the podcast with uh, you, and she told me to tell you that you're her favorite gay Taurus. Oh, that's <laughs> oh Taurus. <laughs> I'm more insulted by the Taurus. <laughs> I hate. And sh- how what? do you put up with that, Matt? Uh, she uh, gave me a whole like astrology <laughs> chart right hand now and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and to text a- my dad to text my dad and say, "Fair warning, I know what I'm getting into, but can you tell me what time of day I was born?" Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Damn, dude! Yeah. What a ugh. Anyway, <laughs> what time were you born? Everyone knows like ten thirty. And she and I did Joe's move too. I had her give me a tarot card reading. <laughs> dude, yeah. <right. laughs> <laughs> that, shit's yeah. gay, that shit's gay. Yeah, <laughs> that or offer them cocaine. Oh uh, yeah, there the you go. Options. Yeah, but I um I took her to a Texas Roadhouse. She's classy. Uh, we're, we're gonna go to a baseball game at some point. I'm getting her into my autism also. There you go. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Damn, dude. Hell yeah, dude. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. That would a you, twist. The two the two uh, empires. Of you can watch York my gen. Oh, yeah. You can watch New York and New York and Connecticut comedy fucking yeah. coming together, dude. Mm. Hell yeah. Dude. I like actually when multiple kingdoms. Like, a couple months ago, I don't know if you remember. I had asked you like if she was normal. <laughs> yeah. What did I say? say? Uh, you told me that she was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because I like we were at that point we were kind of like I think being... I did mention the man thing too. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. she hates like yeah. certain things about dudes. At that like, point, what? we had been like, like yeah, just girl. Th- she's a girl, dude. Yeah. I don't know what that means. She's like he uh, he mentioned his mom too much, or mm. <laughs> something like that. You know what I mean? What yeah. kind of man? That's would just even... ag- yeah. I can't actually remember them. They're just. She posts them on her Instagram. Joey Swole wow. remembers. Dude. <laughs> yes. Dude, what a wild event. Do you know that about was. that, Joe? Do what? you know who Joey Swole is? Uh, well, no. Who's that? He's <laughs> like he's a big like Instagram like uh, gym guy who whenever Why would I not know? <laughs> 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 my fucking Instagram fitness influencer. You know the guy who fucking my my algorithm right now is how to build bombs. <laughs> <laughs> women going to the bathroom. Yeah. Fallout. And and uh, nothing but fallout. No, memes, mine's baby. a lot of fallout. Yeah. It's all fallout. Isn't that cool how the algorithm picks up on that? It's yeah. Crazy, honestly. Well, no, Joey Swole's the guy. Every time women post videos in the gym, record. Or any, not just oh, he's like time. fucking roided out. Fuck. Yeah, and he's hey, like, why is yeah. it that like fucking don't here's, record here's, people here's, in the gym? Here's the two types of fucking fitness influencers it's either this like fucking super rich 23 year old with fucking great genetics so he can eat fucking whatever shit he wants and do calisthenics and like this is how i maintain a six-pack or it's some fucking 55 year old fucking coked out of his head dude on trt and roy saying you got to go to safeway and get chicken breast they don't put any fucking flavor on it that's how you really it's like dude you're on fucking trend dude you know it's like there's no regular guy there's no like like uh, it should be like a like the fit dad thing where it's like i have a beer belly but look i'm able to fucking chop logs all morning or something who's the guy who runs all david goggins david that man dude he's (laughs) autistic dude he he fucking he 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 triaged his autism in a way where he was able to focus on like running and like because he wanted to be in the Marines. So already he's like retarded, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like you're going to kill people because the government tells you to kill people. Kill yeah, people dude. because you want to fucking kill people. Yeah, dude. If he's he was a like serial killer, if he was like, well, I was like looking out. I was studying the blueprints of my campus and I realized the only way to successfully execute a mass shooting would be if I could run a four minute mile. Yeah. And then he runs a four minute mile and he's like, oh, damn, actually, I feel pretty good. I, don't, I guess I don't need to kill anyone. Dude, the yeah. power That's of the running. inspirational. I was like, I yeah. was getting into shape. Preparing to kill people, yeah. and then I realized endorphins are pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I realized a runner's high was Finn, do you want a, a lot better pen? than a murder high. Yeah, do you want to vape? <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Finn reached for the vape so much he <laughs> fell. <laughs> um, but yeah, Joey Swole called out my girlfriend. Dude, months crazy! Ago. Are you gonna beat him up? Um, like, call out fucking Joey Swole right now, dude. Yeah, now I gotta fight Joey Swole. Dude, it spilled over. There's a podcast clip of mine where me and two other comedians make fun of Emily in a. I sent the clip to Emily before. It's a very playful clip. Yeah. Oh, what are you gonna do? She's like, I gotta fight Alex yeah, yeah, right, right now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, but dude, they. F- those fuckers went after everything she was tagged in or whatever, so they yeah. found that clip 
And dude, I can read you. You want to hear some she of the like comments? She like had to make dude? a new Instagram. She dude. doesn't have TikTok anymore just because like she posted a video making fun of a guy in the gym, and then Joey Swole reposted what, why it. Why was she make? What did she make fun uh, of him doing? Read down uh, he was like throwing a ball against the wall or something. It was something weird. Well, that's stupid. But going to the gym is pretty stupid too. Yeah. And anyway, then, they were bet. Yeah. And then they so he calls her out in the video, us. and then the people people go at her like, "You're this. You're yeah. that. You you're terrible. You hate gym culture." Gym like, culture is fucking retarded though <laughs> it's like yeah I, I hate gym culture too and when joey swole won't say anything because i have a fucking gun dude yeah <laughs> i would fucking shoot you i will if anyone ever makes fun of me on the internet i will come to your house and i will fucking shoot you with a gun this isn't a bit it's not some fucking parody i will fucking murder you so why don't you go ahead and leave a comment on the youtube channel don't think i won't find your ip address and track you down your house and fucking murder you when that, remember that shit where like um some fucking this is like a one of the other fucking hilarious early internet things where like this girl was like talking shit on the internet and everyone was like making fun like we're gonna find you bitch we're gonna fucking kill you and then her dad like made a video was like I'm gonna find out where you are cause I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look up your your account and I'm gonna backtrace it we're gonna call the police you know it was just fucking damn dude it's like so there's nothing funnier than like a fucking old person that thinks they understand shit yeah. when they clearly don't Mm. Old people. Yeah. Pathetic, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Just die already. Damn, dude. Honestly, yeah. Like, what's the fucking... Like, it used to be, as a society, it's like, well, the elders have the knowledge because people die at a young age. But, like, if you're old, you understand the ways of the world. But now everyone fucking has those basic survival skills. Completely fucking useless. No reason to have any input on society after the age of 50. Honestly, mm. what are you going to do after that? After 50, you can keep living, <laughs> but don't like fucking weigh in on shit. Like the fact that the president of the United States is a fucking geriatric. That's Get true. out of town. That's true. Mm. The oldest you should be is is 50 as a president. That's the absolute oldest you should be. Mm. They should make Sydney Sweeney the leader of all the stuff and just send her sweet tits all over the world. No, what they should do is hook her up to a machine that's constantly milking her. <laughs> <laughs> I got a better plan. So <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. yeah, we that fucking, works too. We sell I like <laughs> Alex's title, leader of all the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all the stuff, dude. That's stuff all I would hear. Instead of president of the United States, just stuff leader. <laughs> oh, yeah. She shows up to all the meetings. With her tits. Yeah. Well, Dude, let, let us know, society. Let us know in the comments. Should Sid Sweeney be the leader of everything <laughs> or hooked up to some kind of milking machine? We should run. And society is constantly feeding off of her breast milk. We should run most things like pizzerias, like yeah. government things, mm. where it's just hot chicks on the outside running things. So people, yeah. when they show up, they aren't mad. They're calm down, but on the inside, it's just like a really greasy Greek guy who's oh, in charge yeah. of everything. Yeah. Who's yeah, actually dude. like yeah. in the back half, yeah. back of the house. I mean, that's like, just, that is he's just having just, sex with the women yeah. and just you like did manipulating just describe them restaurants. Like I know, they have dude. a nice hostess up no, front. <laughs> so you've all been to so you've all been to a diner where you're like, is this like? Are they? Are they? What the fuck's go? Are they like living to the air? Like, yeah. is are living on Mars over here with yeah. hairs different? Yeah. They look crazy. They look yeah. like Finn. Yeah. Italian people? <laughs> no, <sorry>. Yeah. <laughs> You've been to a middle of the country diner? They look crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like, that's most diners. It's true. Is there, yeah, but that's like, that's like, that's like, are the, there diners in the middle of the country? I feel like it's mostly yeah. a Northeast thing. No, like there's the diners, but they're like. Dark, the movie near dark. Whatever. No, there's diners, <laughs> but they're all like Mel's diners. Yeah. Or, mm. You know, like Johnny Rockets and shit. Like, yeah. it's not like. New York, where you can just like pop into an a, actual diner. Yeah, like it's yeah. like we're like or Jersey is big. It's Northeast, mostly. yeah, but it's like the Midwest yeah. is like you know. Yeah, I feel like Midwest and South is where it's just like Denny's and Waffle Houses. Right, and I'm imagining. Are, yeah, I'm imagining the for some reason one in the desert. Even though I've yeah. never seen one in the a desert. diner. Yeah, <laughs> a that's diner that's in the, the middle of the desert. One. Not in the that's middle, the but oasis it's the one. And, and the, yeah. uh, instead of water, I fantasize about a diner. Mm. The one I from Legion. A Johnny Rockets. A Johnny that's Rockets. what it is. The movie, you yeah. seen the movie Legion? Which one with uh, Tim Curry as Satan? No, that's Legend. Oh. Legion with. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's also about that though. It's got like it's about the angels and they all. Oh yeah, the diner. that's yeah, the yeah. one. Yeah, that. And then it's like. 
God has given up on humanity. Yes. And like all of the angels, because like, what is it? Gabriel is like, no, God, be fucking chill. Or is it? Yeah, he's like, it, chill Or out. is it Michael? It's, it's either Terminator like, it's, with angels. Yeah, it's that. And like, just like the idea that God is like, I'm pissed again. Yeah. <laughs> God's fucking pissed. I'm going to attack a diner. Yeah, yeah, that's really the movie. Yeah, it's, yeah well, in the, in the immortal words of Tom Waits, there's no devil. There's just God when he drinks. Mm. I did eat Shake Shack on shrooms last week. How was that? <laughs> it was awesome. It was, at the, it was at a Mets game. Where, how many shrooms did you take? Um, two chocolate bo- piece, two pieces of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, a bunch Where of the Jer- a bunch of the uh, Jersey comedians all went to a Mets game, and right before we went in, one of the other comics had uh, shroom chocolate. So a few of us, I think it was uh, Pedro Garcia. Me, Pedro, and Alex okay. Grubard. All uh, right. that's like a fun Alex group. Yeah. That's a fun group. And um, we were the ones on shrooms. It was a big group. It was, uh, whole all the Jersey comics: Nick Fierro, Brian St. John, oh, nice. Brian St. John, friend of the show, friend of the show, Brian St. Um, John, interesting and, guy. Yeah. Um, and uh, we went, and it started. It hit the shrooms. Hit when I was eating the Shake Shack, but it hit Pedro and Alex on the way. Mm. So as we're walking on the concourse, you just see the Shake Shack in the distance, and they were like, <laughs> they were like fantasizing God, about dude, it. Dude. It was like a mirage. It was great. And then yeah, eating a Smoke Shack Steak Shack burger oh, on yeah. shrooms, a forty-five dollar Smoke Shack Steak Shack <laughs> burger. Yeah. Dude, it was about the Christ. ball game. Dude. Yeah. And then grabbing some uh, spiked Arnold Palmers. Our seats were right in the bleachers. What's not to love? Yep. We like walked along the bridge in center field just to like, see what the field looked like from the bridge while on shrooms. <laughs> it was awesome. That is sound like fun. I took a, a shroom, the other, uh, like a point, like 1.3 or the mm-hmm. other day. I don't think it did anything. Yeah. Depends, dude. I got to get back. I don't want to eat it in like a fucking chocolate or candy. I just want like. The real a shroom. I just want like regular ass fucking like a penis I, envy one. No, just like uh, <laughs> that's what they're called. That's what they're called. Penis, penis envy. You never heard of these? What they're called? Like what so are they? Penis envy shrooms. They're like they look like penises. No, I like the regular fucking small skinny shriveled up ones. Oh, uh, they bite. I like chocolate. just regular fucking shrooms. They're dude. supposed to make you feel really. They're like penis envy. Oh, that's they, they like look like a see. Super Mario mushroom. Yeah, huh? they also make you feel like really really good. That's really? what they're also called penis envy because you're all about your penis. Nah, that and that makes you feel that. really good when you're all about your penis. I, guess. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done them. So. <laughs> Why not? So I've heard. Everyone who said pe- has said penis envy mushrooms are where it's at, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the dorks I know. I don't know. I've I've always had like every time I've gotten shrooms, it's like the same fucking dehydrated, long, skinny ones with the. <laughs> they are stems. That's they like, just look. Nicer. They're just thicker. I think so. Yeah, yeah. At shrooms. I got once. I looked at them and. I didn't want to do them because I didn't understand what they look like. So I sold them to my friend and they said they were like the best thing ever. Oh, damn. That's I'm funny, dude. Sure. I've I done wish I could go back in time. Yeah, yeah I got to change my, my, I've my done hell mostly chocolates, different. but I had like the actual like shroom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah once, which uh, at this actually, I had some of the ch- uh, chocolate, piece of chocolate, and it was hitting a little bit. And then someone gave me the shroom. So I. Uh, did both at the same time. Mm. I don't know if that you're supposed to do that or not. It doesn't matter. It's not like acid. Yeah, um, acid can really. Fuck but yeah, up. I'm like I'd rather just do the chocolate because it tastes good. Also, it is like a legit chocolate bar. Yeah, yeah. With, like, yeah. Uh, I'd rather just have like the the shrooms. You can like pace yourself a little bit because like that's the other thing was like I feel like the chocolate or whatever process they do to candify it. Makes it take a little longer for the fucking shroomy to hit. I want something to hit yeah. soon, though. I need to. I'm going to take shrooms. Soon. I hate. I haven't yeah. taken shrooms like, in a for while. For real, for real. And I want to kill people. So I think, <laughs> it's about time. I think it's about time to take shrooms again. Yeah. Take, I haven't get, yeah. done it in a few months. I think baseball game of any sporting event is probably the best one to do shrooms at because it is relaxing. That's for you. yeah. I don't. I don't think I could do it there. I need to be. I'm, I might just go sit in a park. Yeah, yeah. that's the, the way. I like it. nature, yeah. like park and outside in general. But a baseball game is almost like I feel like it is like a music festival kind of, but for sports. I where would, you could just yeah. you don't even need to be paying attention. You just turn around. Oh, there's yeah. a game. Oh, yeah. I'll do. I'll go I get would, Shake Shack. I would go like walk around. Yeah, yeah. I, really, dude. I, I just that. play fucking video games, dude. Yeah. 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 Well, fucking, I mean, if dude, I had to be in a baseball, baseball best game. best year was 2019 when I was just fucking constantly snorting ketamine <laughs> in Manhattan, and I was playing Fallout 4 like the whole time, like deep playing Fallout 4 too. That's me right now. I'm on yeah with weed and. Fallout 3, not it's, ketamine. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Well, now I'm replaying. And you know what? It's funny because like, it's like, okay, will I be able to uh, still enjoy this game without the substance? And it's still fun. I'm playing because they just released the new update for Fallout 4. Oh. So I've been replaying that. I got, you know, I was like, I'll, I'll check this out. I'll dabble in. I'm, I'm 18 hours into a new playthrough. 
I'm, I'm playing it on my Steam Deck. Dude, I don't, I'm not even into New Vegas yet. I don't even think I'm a quarter of the way through Fallout 3. It's yeah. going to be a long way. It's a, a, it's a big investment. Way. It's like a 40-plus hour game. Yeah, it's a you lot. You should watch the show, Matt. Fallout? You'd is really, a show? I think you'd like yeah. it. I think you'd like What's it. Think Matt would like it. It's on Amazon. Everyone, okay. That, that show's just fun. It's like uh, Kelly liked the show, and she doesn't. She never played the game. She doesn't yeah, even know about I really liked Last of Us. That's oh, the other. You yeah. yeah. like this, but it's not It's not as serious as Last no, of Us. No, it's definitely like a little more lighthearted. It's... it's uh, it's like, what if the apocalypse was like a little more fun? Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a retro futuristic where it's like, uh, ba- basically like without spoiling anything, it's like there was a nuclear explosion, uh, so the world kind of ended. Yeah, and then hundreds of years later, like you know, people were living under vaults, In so some underground. Them, yeah. yeah, so you know, so culture is preserved in some aspects, but. You know, because there's different vaults and they're all cut off from each other. Mm. They they and all developed. Years went by. Well, hundreds of years. So it's like yeah. society. There's different societies, and yeah. then the people above ground. There's people above ground that survive, but that they does were, sound like a cool story. Yeah, they yeah. were dealing with like radiation and stuff. But yeah, great, dude. there's different. So there's different societies, and you know every yeah yeah, it, yeah. and so like people Cass. go around listening to music, but then like music stopped after like the 1950s. Yeah. So like you're walking around, but you're listening to like old Frank Sinatra, like. Yeah crooner music yeah. you know like hey baby yeah. let's go to the malt shop yeah. You know, yeah. Shooting up a fucking- honestly a lot of like last of us when i watched it uh i never thought about it but i'm like yeah there's plenty of video games that probably just have good enough stories they should oh, be man. tv shows or oh movies. especially yeah. like in the past like 10 years or so of course like that's uh, all of them are i mean like grand theft auto <laughs> That's like, like a gangster yeah. movie yeah. TV show. Wait, it's that's every like gang- a mine it's, for it. It's like yeah. it's Sonic. Like the best. Yeah, <laughs> Sonic <laughs> is a banger. <laughs> Metroid. <laughs> Metroid would be a Metroid good one. Metroid would be fucking sick. Isn't uh, there, have you seen any of the new Knuckles show? Uh, apparently, that one's supposed to be pretty good. It's like they got uh, Idris Elba to uh, you know continue doing yeah. the voiceover. I know Mark has been watching it. I've seen some things here and there. Apparently, there's one episode where Knuckles goes to like a Shabbat dinner. He's oh. like the family meets his. Why Jewish. can't we eat? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> give me the food. I I did one of those. Is it wait? Is that Shabbat or Seder? Seder's the Passover one? Seder. Dude, wait, I, so yeah. like they don't eat until you like do it night, this. Right? You do it like this year because Passover I, no. was just last week. I did it like fifteen years ago. Oh, My okay. parents dragged me to one to like. Parents loved trying to get me to like be cultural, and it made me just hate other cultures. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah dude. If it's you're like, gonna yeah, go, dude. <laughs> Uh, Would you like bring me the most boring thing? My parents take me like a gay pride fucking parade <laughs> when I'm like 13. I'm like, look at these fucking lecherous. That's like a fucking fallout faction right there. The yeah. gays. <laughs> like, everyone's wearing like BDSM gear and fucking yeah, feathers. Yeah, fucking <laughs> waving a rainbow flag and shit. A man is like fucking yeah. like crawling on the hands and legs with a leash and a fucking gag in his mouth. They're the centaurs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up the centaurs. I don't get uh, we want you to appreciate Jewish culture. Come to this thing where we have to eat bitter herbs and shitty bread. Oh, yeah, like, dude, it, and it, read a lot. They shortened it for us and it was still oh, yeah. I was still sitting there going, I don't think I've yet. Like yeah. even at that age, and yeah. they were like, No, this is like the thing, and I was like, What the How fuck is going on? Like, I don't think I've ever been to one where we've read the whole story. Like yeah. we always skip some parts, but my uncle used to determine Dude, how much we would skip I, or whatever. But yeah, it was always like there's a longer and a shorter version depending on what you do and don't want. But either way, it's like, fuck it. We just want to eat and hang Dude, out. If I show up to any family function and there's yeah. not food out. Yeah. I'm I'm leaving. I'm not even kidding. Because <laughs> like, yeah, it doesn't happen. So if I showed up, I was like, we're... What's going on? And they were like, oh, we don't have food. What today, else? Do your, what do your parents do for other cultures? Try and get you to appreciate them. What else Dude, do they, they bring do, you? They, they had, <laughs> this is because this is like me being like, I don't understand why. Pe- like, I understand manners, but I don't understand why you would do this to a kid either. If this yeah. makes sense. <laughs> like, my parents took me to a family's house and they were the the mom was Indian. So she made us Indian Yikes. food, and all I eat is like chicken tenders as a kid. Yeah, and parents know this, and they sit me down and they're like, "Eat the food they give you," like in, like sort of in front of them. And I'm <laughs> like, "What?" Like, cause I'm yeah. like, "What is?" Th-? I don't even remember what they fed mm-hmm. me. Yeah, but I remember I put up my fork. Chicken in a, tender masala. Something. I don't think. I think it, <laughs> they did end up saying this is chicken. And I yeah. ate that, but not. But there was yeah. again. It's weird. So I picked it up and I like sniffed it in front of everyone, and they were like. <laughs> They were like, "What are you doing?" And I, and like the the other people didn't care, but my parents like freaked out. And I'm yeah. like, 
I'm I don't know what the fuck I'm even doing here. Yeah. I don't know these people. I don't still to this day don't know what like they took me there to like yeah, yeah hang out. And now you now friends. you hate Indian people. Now yeah. I hate them. Dude. You were like saying all kinds of fucking crazy shit about like those Indian <laughs> comics, dude. What, yeah. What were you saying? It's like, I was like, oh, yeah. you have immigrant parents. Sounds yeah. like good American parents to me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You were like, what if I, if I were, you were like, these Indians made me wish I found a magic lamp and my three wishes were get lost, drop dead, and I hope I never see you again. Jesus and I was like, Sully, why would you wish for the same thing three times? <laughs> and you were like, because I really want to make sure I never yeah. see him yeah. again because they smell layers. really, really bad. And I'm like, damn, Sully, are you serious? And you're like, yeah. Just see what they do to a, a white woman on a fucking packed bus. <laughs> yeah, Did you ever I watch was, that? I was That's here. Like a whole for, I was here for that conversation. It was crazy. Yeah. You said all those things, <laughs> oh, man, dude. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys agreed yeah. to do the podcast with me after. Yeah. Well, because we agree. Yeah. <laughs> I think like the craziest thing you were like in Indian culture, they have like that little red dot on their forehead. Well, let me tell you something, brother. If if I ever see an Indian with a red dot, it's because I'm aiming my gun at his head. And I was like, Jesus Christ, Sully. That's pretty extreme. I was like, Sully, but if you kill all those Indian people, who's going to do your tech support? <laughs> Folks, we'll be here all week. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? This is all you, Joe. Uh, just, what? I'm just the conduit for, for whatever the fuck, Sally. I guess. All right, so they took you to a Passover Seder, an Indian family dinner, Indian or what else? Yeah, yikes, dude. You uh, went to they, a take you to, they take you to a barbecue? I was going to say, yeah. You get... <laughs> Yo, Adam, get over here. Get yourself a plate. <laughs> why can't I say it? <laughs> I don't understand yeah. why I can't say yeah. Yeah. You know the Thomas Sellers have a seat at the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. They got that weird kid coming around talking about dinosaurs. Real silly, silly. Um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, I did know. I I guess I had black friends and stuff. Yikes. That was gross. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? They dude? were exposing me to them. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, "Yo, this is the Fresh Prince." <laughs> in Yo, West, this is Steve West, Urkel, man. In, <laughs> in Yo, this West man? Hartford, born and raised. <laughs> no, dude, Middletown, but yeah, yeah, close by. Yeah. Okay, so who else did they? Who else did black people I'm, introduce you to? <laughs> <laughs> this is Michael Jordan. We call him the King. <laughs> <laughs> this is Michael Jackson, and he got we weird. But we yeah. don't talk about him no more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> he ain't. He ain't black. That's the Michael Jackson. He's literally he forgot right. about us. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, oh, of, back to Drake and Kendrick. We oh. skipped right over that. Yeah. Yeah. Before um, we were yeah. so rudely interrupted <laughs> <laughs> by Alex's racist Indian rant. That's how I do. So dude. yeah, like uh, something's going. On. So what? Ha- so all I know dude, is that you have, Drake has been wild. sex trafficking children. Yeah. <laughs> like Millie. Like I know he's been grooming Millie Bobby Brown. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and there have been multiple cases of uh, of him DMing and yeah, like some having ha- underage girls. Now, my question is, why would you want some underage child when you have some delicious, of age, freshly sex trafficked pussy coming in <laughs> if you're a fucking pop star, right? <laughs> he was dating Jennifer <laughs> Lopez, right? Was I remember Drake? that. Yeah, I was like Drake no, dated wasn't. every chick. J Lo. Yeah, yeah, oh, they really? had a yeah, they had a thing for a little bit. Drake dated I numerous. Rem- I do remember like it was dating J Lo because at the time I said uh, if I was Drake, I'd be starting at the bottom and staying there. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think who he's dated a lot of like famous people. Who I else? Think. I think like Zoe Kravitz, Rihanna. Yeah. Really, yeah. really double, really. Bunch of them. Well, like, all you, these, you just, but like he hasn't dated the most beautiful woman. A white one. Mm, mm. That is true. I guess I was trying to get in on Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. yeah, isn't that cool? Like you can have all these like beautiful of age, like ethnic women, or yeah. <laughs> yeah. you could risk it all and yeah, have man. sex with a white woman. It makes you wonder. Mm. Barely a white woman. <laughs> yeah. Are you, because, Al- yeah. Alex? You're more. You're a big like hip hop rap fan, right? Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. Because like, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. You should have said, yeah. sh- said for shizzle. For shizzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like yeah. as up to. Um, speed as I yeah. once was. I'm yeah. not a big rap person, so I don't know necessarily. Like, apparently, everyone's like Kendrick is the one who's like legit good, and Drake is more pop. Yeah, stuff. definitely. Well, Drake's got hits, arguably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, more hits than most people in general. Yeah. Kendrick has a more like, um, oh, like he's the he, rapper's rapper. Yeah, well, he's like, like a yeah. Col- he's more of a cultural staple uh, for hip hop. But I yeah. think like, Drake has kind of transcended. Like, yeah, into- well, like Drake is like po- everyone knows Drake, like he's popular. But like I'll say this, like 
Kendrick is popular despite making music exclusively for black people. Yeah, Kendrick yeah. Like, doesn't have like chick music really, and, or like fucking like something like even like a white guy can fucking relate to. Like I can't relate to anything, but I know about his music. Yeah, yeah. you know it's like got a good beat. I also just don't like, <laughs> I sound like a fucking yeah. oh, it's got a good beat. It's it got a good beat there. <laughs> that that boy has a good beat. It bops. <laughs> it bops. <laughs> Jesus, that's funny. No, he, I'm jamming out, yeah. <laughs> but like it's like he's still like wildly popular. Yeah, and like people yeah. like people know about King Kunta. I should know King Kunta. No I one yeah. should. Yeah. I think yeah. a lot. I don't like Kendrick Lamar just because his he's I don't black like the <laughs> because of the color of his skin. <laughs> yeah, it has nothing to do with the content of his character. He, his voice switch up annoys me. Mm. But yeah, I, I, but yeah, I have he's been crushing keep, Drake right now. Yes, that's right. So it's I really have. Bad. Why are I they? Be, seen, why are they beefing though? Why? Are I, they, no, that's what I don't understand. I, I thought it was a yeah. ploy for money until Kendrick Lamar released that shit yesterday, and it yeah. was like. So I've, I don't even know what to do, man. I don't that know like bad. the origins of all of it. I know apparently a lot of guys are like not fucking with Drake anymore in rap. Like a lot of guys he'd collabed with in the past, oh, no. all kind of are like. Fuck this guy. He switched up on us. But um, Drake put out a diss on Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar put one back. And then Drake came out with one. And then two hours... This is a few days ago. Two hours after Drake came out with his, Kendrick drops his. Um, and then the next day drops another one. Yeah. yeah didn't he release like six or something? Uh, something like... Yeah. Some and he's like... like that. Calling Drake a pedophile, yeah, saying strike but- strike a chord, make sure it's A minor. Yeah, dude, he said some crazy things. He said he said basically like I want to shoot you because yeah. you're a pedophile. <laughs> who nice, would dude. who would publicly say they were gonna take a gun and shoot anybody? Oh yes. no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I've been saying about that. Well, actually, I haven't been saying that. I've been in- encouraging our fans to take a gun and 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 as I said, dish out justice. Yeah. Now, however, they want to interpret that. Mm. That's up to the courts to decide. <laughs> but yeah, from what I've uh, I've listened to them, and I've I'm I'm not super into that world but from what i can tell it seems like kendrick is just body and drake it's really bad yeah it's, bad. it's just the degree of what he's accusing him of and like how serious it's coming off and well, it's, yeah, it's also yeah. like oh they're not they're definitely not friends because i thought it was all publicity stunt for a while no. yeah so it came out of nowhere and it's for no reason it seems yeah and then now it's just they're from two different worlds too yeah, well, he also came at J. Cole, and I was glad somebody said... Cause yeah, what was, that, what was that about? I don't really... I don't what's know. J. Cole's Kendrick deal? Lamar's just on a fucking warpath, I guess. Someone just kept saying Big Three too much, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Well, what's, the, what's J. Cole's deal? Well, the big th- well, there's the big three, which is J. Cole, Drake, and Kendrick. That's who the last, like, ten years everyone said is, like, yeah. the best. And I don't know. You, you can... I, I'd say successful, sure, in rap. Yeah. They have, like, the... the all the stuff going for him. I think they're all kind of overrated personally, but I think that just cultivated into enough discussion where Kendrick was like, fuck this and just said, I'm going after everyone. But I don't even give, f- I don't know. Cause I don't, I'm not big enough fans of any of them, but Who I, it is entertaining to watch. Guys? I love Eminem, Redman, Macklemore. <laughs> yeah. <I'm a laughs> Mac Miller, Vanilla Ice, uh, Vanilla Ice, um, Red Man. Asher Roth. Yes. Oh, Asher no, I'm just Roth. kidding. Yeah. Um, Red Man, Red- the first Native American rapper. Yes. <laughs> Red Man, yeah, exactly, dude. I love Eminem, of course. Yeah. You have to, dude. Why? Because you're white. white. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Hey, no, people can act like Eminem is... because uh, Well, people can act like they don't like new Eminem. Be, er, that Eminem is washed up because he's new. But it, the new stuff, which I would agree isn't that good. Yeah. But he'll never... His old, his he's old Eminem is eternally great. I think it's just Eminem. It'll never just, not be good for it's me. It's the same thing with Larry Bird and basketball. Like, yeah, yeah, undeniably great. But the the worst people in the world. That's their favorite rapper. Yeah. <laughs> that's DMX. Their favorite. Yeah. Uh, DMX is great. I love. He hated Drake also. Yeah, nice. he hated so I think Drake. Kendrick quoted. I um, like. Because, like, like, DMX on the radio, that's why I didn't like Drake. He's like, I don't like his face. I don't like his eyes. I don't like his... And then Kendrick quoted that in one of his discs. DMX tracks. was never wrong yeah. about one thing. Mm. 
Nice. What was it? The crack you smoked? <laughs> no. <laughs> he he's said all, he's, he's had some. He said, he said some, some crazy shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. DMX has said some wild things. Yeah. No, I was, oh, yeah, I was like, is. how could you have a fuck a man? Yeah. I kill That's you. That's just his yeah. songs though. Like, in, there's like clips of him on like celebrity rehab and stuff. Yeah. There, and like, there's a, it. Well, there's not. Well, there's one when they were doing behind the music, and they're like, D- <laughs> there's like a thing of. DMX, the like voiceover of the show in like the school. They're like DMX went to Yonkers Elementary School and did not have the easiest time. And it cuts to him being like, "I uh, fought kids, stabbed a few people, with pencil, threw a desk at the teacher." Uh, it's just like him listing crimes he did, and you're like, "This is insane for uh, an adult, let alone a, ch- a child." Yeah. I remember then, um, yeah. the Ultimate Warrior, the wrestler, went on like a speaking tour after his wrestling career was over, and he was just giving speeches to, like high school students and stuff. And he was like super socially conservative on all these. So there's like clips of him in front of like students saying, "Queer and don't make the world go round." <laughs> <laughs> nice dude. He was yeah. right too. Rest in, <laughs> rest yeah, in peace, Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, isn't that funny? He's like queer and don't make the world go round. Meanwhile, he's like running up on stage with like tassels yeah. and face paint, half naked like the world's biggest faggot dude <laughs> and he's like oh queer is bad but like wrestling is like probably the gayest thing the a gayest. man can do outside of fucking another man anyone who likes it or yeah. ever did it gay yeah wait a minute matt actually actively <laughs> wrestles <laughs> he still wrestles to this day dude girlfriend Only- or not <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what a dude. twist dude i still can- i'm yeah right, that's gonna be that's that that's matt and awesome. emily are in, in your mind she, in your mind she's like so picky about that it's so <laughs> funny she'll uh, next, next time she's gonna be all bright red and be like Matt. Yeah. Matt! That's so <laughs> funny, dude. That rules. Yeah, we went uh, At two- least she stuck I'll give her this. She yep. did not ever she said she's I'm just like I'm never dating a Connecticut comic and I was like Yeah Thank Matt God. said I'm never dating a New York comic. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> we are both each other's first comic and both of us said like we feel like it's okay because it's not in the same state. Who, yeah, who can, the, the thing dating comics is just like you Yeah. Know, uh, who can, once once you've been in it long enough, you're like, yeah, who cares? Yeah. You either yeah. stay out of it completely, or yeah. you're like, well, Kelly also knows. Like, if we ever broke up, I just move back to California. <laughs> yeah. I thought you'd kill yourself. You that get too. your little. I go back <laughs> to. Too. I go to California where it's legal to kill yourself. Oh, okay. Everything somehow yeah. fits in a suitcase, and you put on yeah. your little top hat, and you're like, well. I'm all off. More like, a, more like a bindle, dude. Yeah, you're bindle. I just fucking mm. go on a bindle. A fucking train goes by. I fucking hop on it. Mm. Wherever Last, I guess yeah. I'll I guess mm. I'll go on tour wherever this drops me off next. Mm. But yeah, we um we went uh, tulip picking this weekend. Yeah, wow, Jesus gay. Christ, <laughs> That's the gayest shit. Um, actually, so last week at the uh, school that I coach youth sports at during the day, one of the kids asked me, uh, he's a big wrestling fan, and WWE had a show this weekend in France. So because it was airing at night there, it was airing at 1 o'clock in the afternoon here, and the kid asked me if I was going to be, um, if I was going to watch wrestling, and I said, no, I'm going to be picking tulips with a girl. And <laughs> this seven-year-old boy goes, that's sus. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. <laughs> Even a seven-year-old. But Matt still like, wanted to brag about doing something with a girl so he's like, like well, would you rub it old- in a seven year old's face like I'm gonna eat a woman's pussy yeah. <laughs> jealous yeah. when you get older you'll pick tulips to get some ass yeah. okay <laughs> when you get some ass you'll get it you get it you have no idea the kid's yeah. like I'm seven in 2024 I've yeah. had sex seven times that's true dude kids are eating asshole the kids are like shitting into each other's mouths and have shit you ever done a show where there's like a like a teenager in the audience all the time yeah I always bring that up if there is I'm like what's up you're like, their parents yeah. I'm like He's had sex before everyone in this room yeah. ever had sex, and everyone just starts laughing. Ah, uh, really? I yeah. just, I, I, and I, the kid is usually like, "What the fuck?" I do the opposite, where, where I'm like, yeah. "You like, you like candy?" <laughs> yeah. You know, like I try to connect <laughs> them. I'm like, "Damn, homework's With fucking gay, huh, dude? Isn't yeah. that shit fucking awful?" I'm like, "That shit's awful." <laughs> I bring awful. that up too. Yeah, <laughs> I do dude. bring that up. I'm like, "Damn, you, I, I bet you have to fucking eat vegetables, yeah. huh?" I'm like, "I never have to <laughs> fucking eat vegetables. I don't, I don't have to call my parents. I'm bigger than my parents. I can." beat up my parents like, if I want. I bring to. up that weed is legal yeah. now and I go, you have no idea what it's like, kid. You have no fucking idea what it was like yeah. when weed was illegal. Yeah. <laughs> I started losing my mind. You went to jail for yeah, almost being a drug user. Almost went to, went to jail. Didn't snitch. Went to federal prison. Yeah. Didn't say nothing mm. except about myself, which didn't ever help. Wait, but it, you didn't go to I thought you did go to jail. You went to probation? I went to I, yeah, probation, rehab, like mm. uh, IOP, rehab. Yeah, white people don't go to jail for the shit. 
Nah. Well, I mean, it. back then. No, not even. No, back he's then. Italian. I even looked at them though and was like, "There's no way, dude." Yeah, he's not like jail for yeah. this. There's no way. There's yeah, no, you can't. No, it's illegal. It's illegal to send. It's illegal to, to send that. white people to jail. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, it's just like they even said. There's like, there's not room for you in jail for weed. Like they're not throwing yeah. you in jail there's for that, but they will fuck you. Like they just. So what? Well, what happened? I just got. Two years, a year and a half probation. I had to go to IOP and I had to pay for everything, and they What's took IOP? half my money. Uh, IOP, uh, inpatient, outpatient. Uh, so it's like program. a rehab. Yes, or a program. I had to go yeah. there three times a week for four. A- I think four and a half hours. What was four that hours. like? Talking about whole, having to I have admit a bit you have a it. problem. Yeah, yeah. You, dude, it's terrible because I was literally the only person in there for weed. The yeah. one person in there. Everyone else in there was in there for uh, b- b- bottom lot, like the like minimum. Coke. Minimum. Minimum was, uh, you know, turn themselves in for a pill addiction or yeah. alcoholism. That was like one, I think, or two guys. Okay. The other twelve were like, you know, crack, nice. heroin pills. Mm-hmm. Like, got arrested behind the wheel, found in a parking lot, mm-hmm. nodding out, crashed their car. Yeah. Got in a fight. What's above uh, between that. pills and coke? Which is like worse? Pills and coke? Uh, it depends, dude. So like, yeah. So you're saying bare minimum pills, and I'm like, mm, is that the? No, I mean like that, they. Yeah. Turn, I mean like the the I bare minimum crack guy. And, crack and heroin probably is but worse. But turn themselves yeah. in for oh, okay, it. Like yeah. other people in there for hardcore alcoholism, yeah. drug abuse, like heroin. One dude had like pieces of his face coming off. Sick crocodile. Yeah, dude, it was it was wild, and everyone's stories were crazier than mine. Everyone like, had yeah. a worse life than mine. What was the coolest life? I'll t- you want me to tell you the craziest story? Yeah, they told dude. one dude, oh, told the heroin course, guy. Dude. Ooh, and I want to try that one. Yeah, dude. He I'm saving that for like when I'm like 65. <laughs> That's what everyone says, right? They want. Well, like it's like I'm gonna, sm- I'm gonna smoke it. I'm not gonna be like some little fucking like uh, junkie. 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 <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm honestly. Let's be real. The only thing that's really unappealing about heroin is that whole injecting it thing. <laughs> like I would, I smoke it. Sure. Damn. If heroin was in pill form. Probably is. Dilaudid is Watch heroin, out. but you're in pain, so it, yeah. it affects you differently. Well, that's the thing yeah. with like when we were saying a pills weren't like certain pills kind of run the well, gamut pills as far as lead yeah to heroin. Yeah, or pills, um, they're they're just as bad sometimes because you're literally dealing with the withdrawal what and about? you can't get a hold of them, and that usually leads to heroin. Like it yeah. almost always leads to heroin or severe dependency well it shows how cool weed is where like you got in trouble for marijuana they all laughed at me and like and it's also it's like well you're still doing it now like i feel like if i got in trouble for like heroin i'm like oh i can't do this anymore i gotta get clean yeah nah probably not dude i probably what are you talking about you have been caught hopping a turnstile yeah if you did you continue to hop turnstiles yeah i just told the officer i said get out of my way you fucking pig (laughs) yeah and i said officer wait there's a black man selling a cigarette (laughs) And yeah. they said, they fucking, sp- they went, oink, 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 and like fucking sprung into action, fucking kneel on this dude's neck. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that fucking crazy? Isn't that nutty, dude? Have you ever seen a fucking cop kill a person? It's nuts, dude. It's genuinely crazy. Yeah, we all did. Yeah. We all <laughs> saw. <laughs> hey, yeah. Now, I got, a, I got a question. If you got an erection watching the George Floyd video, <laughs> would you consider that a snuff film? <laughs> yeah. We'll get to the heroin story right after Would we get I, to the bottom of this question. How do you know to answer that question? It's, it's sir. Answer. The the, look into the camera. Answer the question. Say, answer, is say, any death video you, can any death video horny? can be a snuff film if you're horny is it enough? A snuff film yeah. if you're behorn. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> Would that, like we like. Fox News would pull the fo- footage of the George Floyd murder, saying like, "This is actually a snuff film." Do you mean it's a porn at that point because you're horny? Yeah. Or it's you, erotic. <laughs> Tell you a little heroin story, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to answer the that, heroin, dude. the heroin guy. It even be funny about it because it's such a fucking weird question. Well, please, oh please, you got to start thinking of as a philosopher, dude. Start thinking outside the box. Well, what's the, there's what's only the, dudes. That, if there's only dudes on the screen. Yeah. That makes me gay at the same time, right? That's where what my if there were a female goes. cop. Well. That means then you're into submission porn at this right. point. So I think it's okay, but I also think, you know. You heard it here. Why do you need. Why? <laughs> you heard it here first. 
Then Alex you're also in necrophilia of George the, Floyd the thing, right? murder. Isn't it necrophilia at that point too? So no, you're, not if you. I, I feel like if you watch a person die, it's different than like necrophilia is like the body's already dead. And then oh. you get aroused. Oh, so you watch the How long go after? So as yeah. they're dying, you can fuck them as they're dying. Yeah. But once, as the, I lay once, dying. The, heart, once the heartbeat stops, <laughs> yeah. it becomes necrophilia. Okay. As, I, as I Lay Dying was actually like a porno book oh, about geez. necrophilia. So speaking of people dying, yeah. the heroin. guy who did heroin, Hell yeah. he didn't die, but he said one time they were um, him and his, they were all doing heroin nice. at the house, partying, Kinda doing like drugs this. hard. Yeah, actually like this, but there was like... O- only instead of, of instead of vaping, they were fucking doing like harder shit. Yeah, hard shit. And one of them, Ooh. oh, they th- these dudes were all like pieces of shit. So they were all like bad people. Mm-hmm. It's not really important for this. It's just so important for like what happens next to understand why they would have what they have. And then he goes, one of them is like, I'm not feeling. I I don't feel good about things right now. I'm not feeling good. I don't like the way things are. And they're like, dude, chill out. He's like, no, nah, I'm really not feeling this. And they're like, dude, you're going to be fine. Chill, because they're all just like nodding out. Yeah, she yeah. Goes, it's like, dude, I'm on heroin. And he Let goes, just chill. and he goes, nope. No, nah, I'm not feeling it. And just pulls out a gun, shoots himself in the head right in front of all of them. Ah, <laughs> like right Jesus. in front of all of them. And they're all fucked up on heroin. They're all fucked up. They just see this. They don't call the cops. They run his pockets. They leave him there. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it, man. And they, that was it. I would put a gloves on before I fucking stole from him, though. That was. I'm that's, not that's feeling it. I'm not brutal, really feeling dude. it. Boom. <laughs> yeah, just Jesus. Hit, I don't know. What, what's the alternative? Dude, like I'm fucking. It's fucking insane. That's dude. so cool, dude. Uh, we told us that not even in group out of cigarette break, and we were all like, "What the fuck?" And he was like, "I haven't really told anyone that." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we were just like, holy shit, dude. Damn, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, I wrote that down. In my brain. I, I'd love to. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I that. would love were to be that. Were you doing comedy at that point yet? No, no. not at all. God I was. So, and, no, I didn't think about that. That would be like such a great way to chill out. Like, because like I'm always like fucking like ah fucking cranky and fucking shit about. So if I was on heroin, dude, I'd love to be like that. Chill out, like. Watch some guy's head get blown off. And my first thought is like, "Yeah, damn, dude, maybe I, maybe I don't have to pay for the bus home if I fucking." <laughs> That's tight, dude. It'd be like the vat in Fallout, where it's like, <laughs> and it's like, because yeah, you're dude. doing heroin, it's all slow mo, or like Judge Dread when the thing oh, yeah. slows down and everything's just like, <laughs> yeah. But um, that That's had to tight. be wild. That'd be a wild day for them. That's tight. yeah. Um, did, did he ever get in? Tr- did he get in trouble? Not for that. He, but he was. Yeah, he got in trouble for nodding out in a car, and the cops pulled up on him, and were like, what "I'd are you much doing? rather get in trouble for nodding off in a car than fucking basically witnessing a suicide." Well, like m- witnessing a suicide and then not reporting. I feel like that you might get in trouble for that. Yeah, they were so fucked. Well, they were so fucked up on heroin. They said they just like had they left. Yeah, so. dude. Well, you got to. You're on fucking heroin, dude. I don't blame that yeah. guy at all. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to try it, but I don't know. I'm nervous. Yeah, why? Will you do it with me? <laughs> when we're all 65. No, let's just do it now if we have friends. <laughs> if we have friends, it won't be scary. Mm. You want to try it? After sure. The, yeah, after let's the, after between the, the free episode the and the dab, Patreon. Just a little dab of heroin. <laughs> yeah. I, I got to find like a good heroin song to play on the outro as this fades out. Uh, like, some <laughs> cra- some uh, the door smells, like, the end. Yeah. smells <laughs> like Teen Spirit. <laughs> Oh my god! Some Lou Reed. Yeah, we won't go crazy. Well, it's just like a fucking black and white yeah. photo of us all like fucking splayed out on the couch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a black and white photo. There's a fucking Curtis Mayfield's playing. Yeah, and then it's like locker room talk, 2023 to 2024. <laughs> Buff Boys podcast. Buff Boys, you fucking oh, idiot. <laughs> yeah, was like, you fucking I always idiot. forget. I always get them all mixed up, dude. <laughs> mm. We won't do too much. We'll micro dust heroin. We'll micro. I I'll, I'll, I'll build up a tolerance. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, not no none for me. I told him last time I was walking home from this neighborhood, mm-hmm. and there was just some guy and his girlfriend just doing a fat load of heroin on the side of the street. Nice, and I how, mean like openly, like how I, I romantic, just, yeah, dude. That could be us, dude. That could, if you're out there and you're a girl who wants to do heroin yeah. with me, hit me up, dude. Nice, dude. That's fucking. That's like Lady and the Tramp eating the same strand of spaghetti, the same needle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like he shoots it through his arm and it goes all the way through because he's so skinny yeah. from heroin. Oh, they have and like it goes a through her. Yeah, <laughs> like a blood. It's just like it's just like they fucking put their arms together like that and just like use the same needle. That's like it goes closer yeah. and closer. Yeah. Ooh, and then they just. 
Oops. Yeah. I think like that's like the only scary thing is like I would like to do it, but I would not like to get AIDS from the people. So I'd have to bring my own needles and shit. Yeah. Or as I said, smoke. You're it. a responsible heroin addict. I I feel like honestly, well, that's like what Keith Richards says kept him alive. There are like, his. There has like, to be then. There's like people that can live a long time on heroin. It's just you have to be. This is like not a fucking thing to say in a pocket. Like, <laughs> there are people that you know, it's like that's what you don't sign off on. The <laughs> one thing, the heroin. <laughs> yeah, the yeah heroin. dude. Twenty minutes well, ago, like, he's like, "I'm gonna shoot you. You should take a gun out in public." Well, like of all the things <laughs> people would like believe, it's like the idea of like, "Look, well, it's like because it makes sense to say like it does not make sense to justify like, well, so he told me to kill somebody on a podcast. Yeah, it does make sense. Like, oh yeah, if you bring your own syringes." there's less likely a chance because it's not the heroin itself that gives you AIDS. It's when you're sharing a needle with a fucking gay person that is how you get AIDS. Yeah. But aren't there people who... Um, what? No, you, come on, dude. What are the odds of a fucking straight man getting AIDS who's not on heroin? And if he is on heroin... Okay, two straight guys <laughs> doing heroin. Two straight what guys do heroin and walk into a bar. Yeah, <laughs> what are, the, straight, what yeah. are the odds of two straight guys sharing a needle getting giving each other AIDS? Slim. The fucking odds of a fucking gay guy and a straight guy sharing a needle and, and getting AIDS? Astronomical. Almost a given. It's scary. Oh, man, dude. You know what they called AIDS originally was God's righteous anger. <laughs> You know that, right? <laughs> they called it that, and it wasn't Breath. until and it wasn't until like the thankfully the heroin community got involved and showed people <laughs> that hey, guess what? Straight people might get AIDS too. And we're like, involved. okay, well, we can't goof around about this. Mm. Dark well, episode today, dude. Something about mm. I think because I went to church earlier today, <laughs> so I got to like <laughs> the pendulum's got to swing the other way, yeah. you know. Um, what was I going to say? The um, that you love Emily. Yes. Uh, <laughs> already love. Yeah. No, I, I, we that's have, crazy. We're not there dude. yet. No. Yet. Crazy, yet. Dude. Damn, dude. Nice, he's dude. He's made plans. He already bought a ring, Joe. Yeah, dude. <laughs> See what Joe does to me, dude. What? The second it's turned away. Oh I just yeah. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> I pounce. <laughs> like get away from me. Attack mad. Yeah. <laughs> Now we'll see how many times Joe says I have a crush on every other female comedian. Well, now it's done. Now I have to. Can't, dude. Now I have to tell every female comedian to dry up their pussy <laughs> because <laughs> Matt Marin is is off the market. So yeah. sorry, Amy Stop. Cardinelli. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you're gonna have to go to Safeway to find some extra small zucchini because Matt Marin is off the market. <laughs> <An> extra way. <laughs> Nice, dude. What's wrong, um, Sally? Dude, I have a vein in Are you my having, hand. Like arthritis? Yeah, that I keep poking and it keeps sending a surge through my wrist. Oh, Damn. you'd be able to find the vein if you want to do heroin. <laughs> oh man, dude. Yeah, it's perfect. You might, dude. My ex Nicole, she used to say I had great veins because she was a nurse Ooh. for sticking needles. I was like, stop, nice, dude. Saying that, she would like yeah. look at them and like be like, hmm. You should, did, please tell her you said you should see the ones on my cock and then pull yeah. out your pants I think and make I'd, her suck that delicious <laughs> Italian sausage of yours, huh? I think I'd be good at doing heroin because I'm always able to get my Capri Sun straw in on the first try. Yeah. And you've also that. done uh, steroids before, yeah. so it's not like you're not used to injecting stuff. Dude, I would dude. be I would be a sexy heroin addict for a little while, and then yeah. I'd, it'd be a dark turn. You're, you know, you got I'd a be little like, bit of the luck. Uh -huh. I'd be the doing eyes like, yeah. would sink a little yeah. more. I'd be skinnier. Mm. Yeah. She, Cheekbones would be prominent, dude. Mm. I'm doing heroin. It's like Joe. You're like the weight of a normal human. Like, what's going <laughs> yeah. on? I think he's addicted to something. <laughs> well, also you were saying like the way to do heroin and like live longer, like with Keith Richards and them. Is it just the needle like that fucks people up, or it's like people doing heroin? Fucks them up. Well, I'm sure it's also and, yeah, it's much, also like doing much. like shitty heroin yeah. that's like not it destroys like, you. Yeah. I don't. I've never looked up exactly what it does, but the addiction itself destroys you, and it fucks your body up, and you start like doing crazy shit. It fucks your mind up, like it's it's bad. Well, I mean, like you is that like are those like scientific studies, or is that like just dare propaganda? That's most people who get really into heroin. Like people, like I said, there are functioning addicts out there, but yeah. they they don't. It, it's like a lawyer who does it like. Every once in a while, and they have like a stash. I, that's what I feel like it is. A stash, that's yeah. so cool. It really like, like, Batman. You know, like, like, yeah, or they get it when they need it. It's yeah. not like people who are, or it's like, yeah, a, a fucking construction worker or something. I'd, I'd rather be it. mildly addicted to weed, where I, I feel like this is like the most manageable my weed addiction has been, where it's like, 
I'm getting nursing better. a vape pen. Smoking this all nursing day. these little vape pens, which are Smoking probably gonna regular weed at night. Yeah, I haven't even done regular weed. So like when I smoke regular weed with you now, it's like whoa, fuck, this is potent. Yeah, I wait till the end. Of, I yeah. usually smoke this during the day. And yeah, and at night I get to get a few rips of the bowl, and I am ready for bed. Damn, dude, you got to start playing Fallout Four, dude. M- Matt, or me. me, you. I gotta play. We still haven't really gotten anything in '76. I know we gotta start playing that. Fallout '76. It's an online game. Wait, there's five Fallout. Well, there's five main Fallout games, and then there's is it Fallout 1776, and it's all about America. It it is based on America. (laughs) It's it's heavily. It's uh, you're in the uh, you're in the West Virginia Appalachian woods. Nice, and uh, you're in Vault 76. And it opens in uh, 2176. Right, which is when the wars... It's 100 years after the bombs after fell. The, the so the bombs fell in 2076. And then it happened again, right? Doesn't it happen again? Well, no, There's those were the main... War. No, no, the the bombs that fell in the Fallout show were the same bombs that fell everywhere. It was just from the perspective of Hollywood. Oh, okay. I meant though, um, like you know how in the show there's like there was another. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. The um, uh, you're talking about New like California the California Republic. Y- okay, I'm or... sorry. You're talking about the war, um, uh, the the Battle of Anchorage. Yeah, before they drop like the big war bombs. Okay, so there was like the Battle of Anchorage. You see, there's like this alternate history in Fallout yeah. where uh, instead of um, uh, the combustion engine, they figure out nuclear fission. So, mm. like, that's what powers cars instead of like a combustible engine. I cannot uh-huh. wait to go home and play. I'm sorry. I might. Yeah. I want to go to Comedy Fight Club with them, <laughs> but I also have work at. F- I have to get up so early for work. Yeah. I what are you doing just, now? I have a, an event job this week. Yeah. And I've just got the next three days of up early and go to the Javits Center. Are you going to the? Oh, Me- oh they're not even the. I've Met. worked. I've worked there before with uh, security events there. Yeah. I did secure. They did the um, I'm doing something similar. They did like an all star baseball fan fest there one year when the baseball all star game was here. When was they that? Do, um, who, who was the biggest name you saw? Um, for the baseball, I didn't see that many. They did a basketball all star game, and uh, uh, when the basketball all star game was at Barclays Center, they had the event in uh, Moynihan Station. Okay, and uh, I saw Chocolate Thunder Daryl Dawkins mm, there. That's cool. Um, he died a couple years later. Nice. Oh, that is, but. He was a uh, big player from the seventies NBA. I'm trying. There were other guys who like would come through, but I would like miss. I think uh, with the All Star for the uh, it was at City Field, so a lot of old Mets players. So like John Franco was there. He was a relief pitcher for them back in the day. Um, U.S. Open is where I saw the most famous people because I was in pl- I was player security, so I was right by the locker room, and that's where all like the famous people would come through. Like, there were two uh, Italian women in the final one year, so the Prime Minister of Italy came through. Wow, dude. The Queen of Spain came by to congratulate Rafael Nadal. That's it was, cool. yeah. <laughs> it is wild. A bunch of, like, uh, just, like, security guards, just me and a bunch of other, bunch of black dudes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and all of a sudden, we're, like, in charge of, like, making sure Michael Jordan, Alec Baldwin, and Lenny Kravitz get to go where they need to go. That's cool. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Mm. Sorry. So wait, where do you go? Who, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, June, I have no center? idea, dude. I'm just going. I, oh, yes. is this, are you security? I'm just an event uh, You don't worker. even know what it is going to be yet. Just going. Is there a there. dress code? Are they, like, you have to wear all like black. this? Yeah. Okay, that's I'm, all? Yep, yeah, that's really it. I'm going in first thing in the morning. I have to be there at 7.30. 7.30 in the morning? That's not fun. An hour away. Whoa, Train that's... Ride. Are you going to drive? Are you going to take your bike? or it's in Manhattan. Okay. Driving in the Manhattan. Yeah, that'd, drive be, oh, that'd be insane. Yeah. yeah. And it's also raining tomorrow, so no bike. Maybe Tuesday the bike though. Yeah, that would be nice. That's a lot, man. Dude, I would honestly though to ride the bike, it would be pretty an hour. I could do it. We you can't. Do that. Yeah, that'd be a good workout. I ride too. at least two hours a day. Is it raining all day tomorrow? It's gonna be rainy. I think when I leave. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm excited for that. We'll what see. do you have planned tomorrow, Matt? You sound disappointed. No, I just, <laughs> I'm just, I, I want the weather to stay nice for a while, more it's than a day. Soon. Now, yeah. dude, we got to get through this rain. Yesterday, period. yesterday, I will say it was perfect tulip picking weather. <laughs> where? Were, oh, you were in Connecticut, dude. Yeah. We. Where was I yesterday? Holy shit! You guys could have carpooled. Oh. No, we were, you we were at Elwood. We were on Friday, right? Yeah, Elwood yeah. Friday. And I was there yesterday. Was fr- yeah. It's been cold the past few days. It was it was rough yesterday. <laughs> rough, dude. Yeah, Elbow Room ruled Friday. By the way, shout out to the uh, yeah, yeah, dude, boys. My one time at Elbow Room, I had a lot of fun. We were there. Together. Oh, that was That's a good fun. time, dude. Yeah, one. I took Joe. I've had some yeah. really good shows there before. I took, yeah, I took Joe because 
uh, the show we were on, I was like, Joe, we go. A lot of these comics, they're very new, so it's just like you and me, baby. <laughs> it was a good show, yeah. but it, re- it and they your, did well. But yeah, like, your dad was there. Yeah, it was a fun vibe. A lot of the times yeah. I've done those. A lot shows, of the Connecticut it's comics crazy. bring their parents to Elbow Room. Last time I was there, Ryan Peterson's mom was there. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, isn't she hot? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. I don't find any other women attractive anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice, she dude. said I had a great set on yeah. the show on Saturday. Nice. Uh-oh. She's she's not hot though. <laughs> nah. no. Here comes Sorry. trouble. Uh, yeah. Maybe she is. Maybe she isn't. I don't want to yeah. say anything now. Dox is mom know. right now. now. <laughs> but she said I had a really good set on Saturday. Yeah. And I thought I didn't. And okay. It made me feel much better because a bunch of other people. Please tell me, say you said, "Oh, thank you, madam. You have a pretty nice set yourself." Honk honk. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, <laughs> Alex? What's even be. the fucking point, dude? <laughs> What's even the fucking point of all of this if you don't get a cop of feel? <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. I'm a funny guy. Come on. It's I'm a just. Joke. Come on. I'm just trying to be funny. You were laughing earlier, right? Oh, Maddie. Yeah. I think it's that time. We got a feat of strength. Do we? Yeah, we do. What do you got, baby? Um, I was looking up this guy who's gone viral several times. He, uh, His name is Thomas Finn. Uh, he's a uh, power lifter who does all these like weird, crazy stunts on Instagram. He's uh, bench pressed 500 pounds on fire. Like They lit the weights on fire, and then he benches it. Dang. Fun. He's... Um, what else? He Thomas Finn. So he calls himself like the powerlifting Huck Finn. Okay. Um, I don't know if he says the N word or not. <laughs> um, he's uh, bench pressed 500 pounds while chugging a beer in a funnel, going straight into his mouth. And uh, he bench. Uh, this was his uh, big thing. He's a uh, Chicago. I don't know if he's a Chicago Cubs fan or not. But for the Cubs, they had uh, not won a World Series in 108 years between 1908 and 2016, and they called it. Uh, they said it was the curse of the Billy Goat. Back in like the 1940s, some guy tried to get into a game with his pet goat, and Wrigley Field wouldn't let him in. And he said he put a curse on them, and they were never going to win a World Series and again. They still haven't. And they did in 2016, uh, but for like 60 years after that happened, they didn't win. That's awesome. That'd be so, so this guy, cool. Thomas Finn, bench pressed a goat 108 times because they Cubs made the World Series, and he said he was going to do this to lift the curse. Ah, uh, 108-year curse. And then yeah. he did that. And, and he, then they won the World are Series. Are you serious? Wow. Yes. Thomas Finn. That. That's hell of a coincidence. That's yeah. pretty cool, dude. Uh, the first video I saw of him is he's like on a boat with like red, white, and blue bathing suit, fireworks going off, and he's just like lifting a weight over his head, and it's like uh, the the European mind can't comprehend this. <laughs> There's all these like uh, they look like when people uh, picture America, this is what they yeah, picture. Yeah, when I was in Europe, I did feel like I could beat up everyone. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not tough. Hold on. I really did though. I was like, all these people. Oh, he's actually like he's actually like strong. Yeah, he's a big dude. He doesn't look. It's like you know, like some people are like, yo, I'm a power lifter, and they they look like me. Yeah, you know. (laughs) And it's like, all right, dude, you just like, all right, you know. It's like you're like lifting weights, but like I feel like you're just like lifting weights to justify your binge eating, not the other way around, you know. Yeah. But this guy looks like he's actually like strong. I'll post a picture. Yeah. Here. Trying to find Huck Finn Barbell. Um, here he is, just lifting weights while fireworks are going off. Uh, and oh, I've Hulk seen Hogan's it. theme I, song I is playing. This. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's what that. a retard, dude. Yeah, it's two hundred twenty-five pounds. He's just jeez, oh, Matt. You know, it's like, it's like right, that you know liver what, that, king mentality. That, you know what, Emily? That's what you you're gonna get sent that one day, and that's. <laughs> I'll sign it to her right now. <laughs> well, no, I won't right now because she texted me and I haven't responded yet. So no. I have to respond to the nice, text before dude. sending that. No, no, no. Oh. Respond with just that. I'm waiting respond till with yeah. that. respond no with that. Respond with that. I'm I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. Yeah. No, no. No, Thomas Finn. He's a, a real American. Yeah, dude. Yep, I love, dude. With I, the Hulk Hogan I'm also song a playing. real American, and I yeah. love America. Where, where, where were you in Europe? I went to Italy, and I went yep. to Amsterdam. Yeah, the hometown. and I loved both of them. The I hometown, mm-hmm. yeah. Italy's the, the homestead, baby. 
I haven't ever been family back. clan there. Yeah, they my family is Greek and Russian. I've never been back to either. I don't think anyone in our family has been back in like four generations. Mama me. I actually felt kinship with my family when I visited. Yeah, it was really? Just weird, yeah. That was Woke nice. Up this morning, <laughs> got yourself a gun. Yeah. Very similar people. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I was like, oh, they are, are your my par- family. Are you second generation or... Yeah, yeah, my parents. Oh, your parents from Italy? No, no, no. I, that means I'm third generation. Okay, then, right? grandparents. Yeah. Grandparents. Yeah. N- yes. Great, great. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But we have family there. Okay. That we visit, and oh, like, that's the thing. Yeah, I don't have any family left over. I, I would still like to go to Greece, but it would just be like. This is cool seeing Greece, and I guess like in the late 1800s, <laughs> someone actually, in my family came over. That's cool. Yeah, that's like cool, like to not have to like have family obligations, but just to yeah, yeah. explore somewhere. I ju- you know? I should go to. Uh, I thought about this. My because my family came from like late 1800s to early 1900s on both sides. Their probably records are in Ellis Island. Mm. My family's the records are in Ellis Island. I yeah. should go. You want to go? Yeah, let's go. All right. Let's, I think my let's do a live podcast, live Buff Boys podcast at Ellis Island. We could do we could do a live Buff Boys thing at Ellis Island just to have the tickets be a tax write off at least. Yeah, and we can dip into the Patreon for like the tickets and everything yeah and see and make a little like uh thing about that yeah i'd have to call my dad and see like mm. who signed the um yeah but i know yeah. like i know there is like they did go to okay El- it yeah was now island. some weather's getting nicer let's do it let's do a trip to ellis island i'm pretty sure my family also came through ellis island let's all do oh, a trip kelly's to also ellis kelly's family kelly is too yeah. everyone we're all going to ellis island pretty damn sure. kelly and i find out like I both of our families came ones. from the same village in ireland yeah and we're actually yeah. related. <laughs> Damn, how about that, dude? Yeah. A little fucking incest. Mm. Only it's in our, New York. It's too late, right? What? <laughs> like, if you found out, wouldn't it just be like, uh... You said, well, we can't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just literally have to be like, Yo. you better, You better keep a secret, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you nice, can't dude. tell anyone dude yeah that dude In- so incest is like fucking everyone. mainstream now dude yeah <laughs> never thought that would happen yeah. life's weird dude yeah a, a, a bizarre it, it's like uh the new generation is like bizarrely horny but also like not fucking yeah why i hear that what's like going they're on? sexual without fucking is it because they keep hearing about what's going on in the world and yeah freaking out? it's because like everyone's so divided on israel palestine mm. they're like We're and, not- uh, and kendrick drake yeah kendrick drake is that the israel palestine some conversations where two people end up two people end up fucking nice mm. right? dude all the time shouldn't it I think every guy is afraid of approaching women and being called a creep or talking too much about their mom and Emily tweeting about them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can never talk too much about your mom. No, never talk too much. never talk about your mom. Uh, as far as women yeah. know, my mom's dead, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm going to talk about my fucking mommy? Mommy! Fucking grow up, dude. Mom doesn't give a shit, dude. <laughs> Grown-ass man talking about, oh, I, I, I talk about my mom so that way... Women know I respect women. You respect your mom, but like you have to respect your mom. Like l- look at look at look at Sully, I hate to I hate to throw your culture <laughs> under the boat, but like look at Italian people. Under the boat. <laughs> you know? They're like, I love my ma. My ma's a saint. But then like the like, get that out of here, you fucking whore. Yeah. You know, with yep. like and they'll beat, fucking they'll beat the shit out yep. of a woman, but they'll think like, Well, I, I respect women because I respect this Ooh, woman wow. who has authority <laughs> over me and gave me life. It's like dog, like your mom is still somebody's she, like, maybe the, the sauce less sauce you love your mom, the more you respect other women. Yeah. Mm. Think about that, dude. Yeah. Something to think let's give them something to think about. Uh, let's give well, them something great, to what? think Ta- about. Oh, is that your new phone? No, not at all. You still have that broken one. <laughs> the yeah. cradle of civilization. Ooh, I, uh, not a fl- uh, an old waitress from a, a hot waitress from a the stand. Uh, another ve- <laughs> from an old comedy venue just commented on my photo. What'd you say? I, did. Um, I don't know. It could you be good. It could be bad. You should say Goo Goo Gaga, baby hungry. <laughs> We gotta sign off this episode so we can all uh, respectively re- respond to our women. Oh yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> we're also gonna yeah. do heroin. Selly, where can people find you? Um, find me at Silly Selly on Instagram, and uh, check out my other podcast, Yes Offense, and check out me and Joe's podcast, Super Selly Joe's. Nice. I wanted to save this for your birthday. 
because uh, I know Old. it just happened, but I bought uh, SillySelly.com. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did for you. <laughs> right now, if you go to SillySelly.com, it's very intense gay porn, <laughs> but that's just a placeholder. I'm going to get some authentic videos of Alexander sleeping to be posted on there <laughs> shortly. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. Bur- Stick around for the Patreon. We'll see you next time. Birthday was weeks ago. Ha, ha, ha!